Now who you go vote for? Brother, sister, he gets somebody where you need to On May 29, 2007, when the Muazu Babangida Aliu administration was sworn in in Niger State, the audacious task of developing Niger State was quickly articulated. Ideas and electoral promises, as well as the ambitious vision of making the state to become one of the best three in Nigeria socio-economically by 2020, were promptly put together in a blueprint. 3-2020 is aimed at garnering all our ambitions, our dreams, and all our activities to ensure that we are following a pattern, we are following a road, and we are, we are galvanizing the society to appreciate it. Another daunting, inceptional task of Dr. Muazu Babangida Aliu was that of raising a formidable team to work with, a group of competent men and women to translate these ideas, policies, programs, as well as the yearnings of Nigelites into manifest realities. Having declared himself the chief servant, he needed a team whose charter and contract with the people would be service. Talba Mina, the chief servant, found a team to deliver this huge responsibility. A team willing to work, ever ready to learn, armed with varying degrees of competence, skills, experience, education and scholarship. One of them is a young man, in fact the youngest of them all. Amiable, affable, epitome of humility, intelligent, vastly traveled, approachable and deeply rooted, Umar Mohamed Nasco. Umar Mohamed Nasco is what you see. Umar Nasco is a gentleman. Umar Nasco is a politician. Umar Nasco is a man of the people. Umar Nasco is a family man. Umar Nasco is a committed and dedicated servant of the people. He was appointed first as member technical committee on harmonization of Niger State Action Plan and then commissioner for commerce, industry, tourism and cooperatives. His handling of affairs at this key ministry was very well done, apart from bringing forth a new phase of providence and socio-economic prominence to the ministry. It brought about three significant landmarks in the life of Umar Mohamed Nasco. First, he asserted himself as continually increasing in capacity for responsibility and sterling leadership qualities, among which are friendliness and dependability. Between that time and now, he had served in about four to five ministries as commissioner. Briefly, as a reminder, Niger State was accorded the hosting rights of the NAFIS 2009 after her brilliant performance and resounding success which she recorded at the last edition of the event in Enugu. It's an agrarian state and most of our rural areas, that is where the farmers are, the peasant farmers, we have to add value to our own goods and this is the only way if we give them access to be able to bring out these goods at a cheaper, affordable uh, way, it will add value to whatever they do. With remarkable achievements in project implementation, while capping it all up with the appointment as Chief of Staff to the Executive Governor of Niger State, destiny continued to prod him forward in seeking the high political office in the land. He is the gubernatorial standard bearer for the office of executive governor for the People's Democratic Party in Niger State. We're living in a world that is fast changing in terms of information and communication technology. And at a time like this, only a vibrant mind that is informed and that is energetic 
can take Niger State to the next level. I believe that I am the right person for the job. I pledge to live up to the aspirations and expectations of the youth while still upholding the trust and confidence of the elder generation. I am Umar Mohammed Nasko, and I am running for the office of Governor of Niger State. Second significant landmark is the immense exposure and tutelage of the past eight years under the chief servant, which has prepared him for this great office, coupled with his unassuming disposition and his unassailable integrity. Let me thank you for the eight years that you have given us and for more that we are asking. I bring to you a person who can do more than I have done in the name of Umar Nasko. He is a very good person, a son of a very good man, and who will do better for United States than we have done. He has learned a lot, and you, the youth, should come out. The women should come out, because this is the best that we can give you, and we are giving you the best. I appeal to you, please, no violence. No violence. These qualities have endeared him to the people and has also endeared the people to him. Now who you go vote for? Brother, sister, he gets somebody where you need to Furthermore, 
The tide and time in the affairs of men, which William Shakespeare wrote about, and which has continued to come to reality in other nations, global institutions and states, is about to happen to Niger State with the coming of Umar Muhammad Nasco. Supply creations with all their need and bless Umaru Nasko Baru Fubology. Oh, we choose Umaru Eginasko. We choose Umaru Eginasko. I keep my hands for you, Umaru Eginasko. You should also keep yours for him. Prominent conglomerates and countries in the world today are now being led, actively, effectively run by youths. All over the world, in fact, people talk about making money. The average age of millionaires all over the world are just at the something years. These are the young men and women who are making billions of dollars, millions of dollars. The average age is not, they are about 30, 35. That is the average age of the young millionaires. This is the only party that look at the future of Nigeria. So where the world is going? The world is going to the Nazco direction. Where we need very young people. Young people that, lead, that will lead this country to where we want to go. Age is just a number. For me, every human being has his own character. Every human being has his own way of relating with whoever it is that he finds next to him. For me, everyone that is around me at a particular time and I interact with in work or uh, informally is a friend. And it is very important for me to be open, to be considerate, to be understanding. And I believe that I have a gift, and that gift is I am able to understand and to stay with whoever it is that is around me. And I think this is one of the strong points that I have one of the strong potentials that I have as a leader. And it is very important to always interact with everyone around you and so that everyone around you will have that feeling of confidence that yes, this is a shoulder to lean on. This is someone I could rely on. And this is how I build my, my close block of friends and associates. And this is how we bond. A very reassuring legacy which Umar Mohammed Nasco has enjoyed and which he's entrenched is good family training, tradition, precepts, and upbringing. Not only was he brought up with these attributes, he has imbibed them and replicated these in his family of young and loving children. That whatever it is I have become today, I got that inspiration from the way I was brought up. I was brought up in a family that has always shared love, that has always interacted with one another, that has always supported one another from the top to bottom, from my father, my mother, my siblings. I believe that that bond is one that we will keep and I believe that that is what keeps each and every one of us going and that is our pride and we believe that we have to uphold that which we represent, which is our family and the name NASCO, which we are very proud of. Ahaji well, Umar NASCO, my husband, is a very loving and caring man. He dedicates his time to me, my, the, the wife, and the children as well. His family is, le is not left behind. He finds time to visit his relatives and his parents. He's a very loving and caring husband. He attends to his responsibilities duly. He finds time to relate with his kids and all the other members of the family. My husband has so much faith in what God has kept in store for him. Um, and a 
have learned so much from him, from that aspect. In him, Umar Mohammed Nasco and the esteemed office he seeks is not only a fulfillment of shared destiny for Niger State, but a valid emplacement of a landmark in the journey to our future to be led by a young man who is grassroots rooted, who is for the people, with the people, and of the people, as well as a doting family man. Youth are left out of the system because if you see many people that are past leaders that we have, like president, they are all youths when they become the president and the governors of the past. But these days, you will not find somebody youth as a governor or president these days. So we, we would like youth to be involved in all these things, policies, government works, and everything like that. We, we will appreciate it if he do so for us. We know that we, we youth will enjoy dividend of this democracy. Omar Nasco, I believe he's simple, he's generous, he's down to earth, and he listens to everyone, he doesn't discriminate. And I believe when voted for, he will do more than our expectation, inshallah. Because first and foremost, I want him to start with the orphanage homes. Because once he gives them life, he gives them hope, I believe will add more impact to the society. I'm calling on we, the women, to please give him our support, 100%. And inshallah, I believe they will do more. Please, women, I want you to come out, vote for PDP, Omar Nasco, Niger State Governor, inshallah. I, 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 I expect Nasco to recognize non-indigenous, give them free hands. In fact, non-indigenous play a very, a very, very unique role in this state. When it comes to the economy of this state, the tax, everything, a lot, I can say more than 50-60% of the tax in this state is generated from non-indigenous. Therefore, non-indigenous should be given free and they, 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 they should be given adequate security when the need arises. I believe that NASCO is going to do very well, just like this chief servant. Umar NASCO is a nice person, he's good and young. And it's good for our democracy that people like him start contesting for high profile position. He, I feel he's a right candidate and a good one for Nigerites. Because if you look at one of our major problems in our Nigerian democracy today, or our ways of doing things is we will have somebody, a government will start something that is good in place. Along the line, another person will come in and feel that I want to bring in my own policy, which is taking, bring, bringing us back, drawing us back. Concerning our development, I feel continuity is a very good thing. What is expected of the incoming governor after election in person of Umar Nasco is uh, to create an enabling environment for private sector participation. Now is the time for youth to come out and play their own role. Umar Nasco is a youth and I believe the youth also love him. He's great. When you look at other aspects where he started from, all the ministries he held, he, does, he has done so many things. Like the Ministry of Youth, Ministry of Commerce, Works, and so on, tourism. He was the first commissioner that brought tourism celebration into Niger State. And we enjoyed it, we liked it. Women of Niger State, come out in mass. Collect your voter's card and vote for Umar Nasco. No matter how you want Umar Nasco to rule your state, you cannot vote for him if you don't have your voter's card. Jama and Jahan Naija, Ganaku, Matashi, Mesabanjini, Muhammad Umar Nasco, Monsanchiwa, Mulkina Alani, Shiki Badawa, Shiki Hanawa. An Allah Yaba, one Mata san mata shin sa'a to muna roƙon shi da ya cika matalakan jama'an jahan Naija alƙawari da ya dauka bari o be gbogbo mu Yoruba ko di gbo funasco Olorun ade se igbare fun wa ni ayo idunu ade to everybody wa ni ara ko ni fi asuko re damu everybody wa abi omo Yoruba ko di gbo funasco kan jo since we since the terrorists 
governor, there is peace. I don't see any crisis. I want to make Teruba, uh, Nasco to continue where Teruba has stopped. You understand? I see a society, I see a state that is full of hope, that is full of uh, potential, and I believe that we will tap this potential and we will come collectively, inshallah, with prayers. I believe that this would come and go and we will chart a new course forward towards seeing that we reach our destination. Now who you go vote for? Um,